Today, House Democrats announced they're moving forward with an impeachment inquiry against President Trump. This after growing calls for impeachment following a whistleblower report accusing President Trump of pressuring Ukraine's president to investigate Joe Biden and his son, which the president admitted to today. There was pressure put on with respect to Joe Biden. What Joe Biden did for his son, that's something they should be looking at. Days before that phone call, the president unexpectedly told aides to withhold $400 million in aid for Ukraine. President Trump says he did nothing wrong. And the president took to Twitter today to respond to the impeachment inquiry while meeting with world leaders at the United Nations, tweeting that Democrats, quote, had to ruin and demean it with more breaking news witch hunt garbage. He goes on to say they never even saw the transcript of the call, calling it a total witch hunt. He followed that up with two words presidential harassment. With all of this talk about impeachment, it's important to note that today's announcement is just the beginning of a formal investigation. Impeachment also does not necessarily mean that the president will be removed from office. News 8's Richard Allen joins us now to explain the process and some common misconceptions. Richard? And Carlo and Marcella, because it is so rare, the impeachment process and what it means can create a great deal of confusion. While many people assume it's the same as removing a president from office, impeachment is simply the approval of formal charges along the lines of an indictment. And while that decision is in the hands of the House of Representatives, it's the Senate that would make the more serious decision of guilt. I'm announcing the House of Representatives moving forward with an official impeachment inquiry. Thus setting into motion a lengthy and complicated process that must be initiated by the House of Representatives. In an impeachment proceeding, House members at the committee level initiate hearings and oversee the investigation into any alleged crimes. They're going to gather the evidence and decide, is there enough here that we should have a vote to impeach? Dan Butler is a professor of political science at UC San Diego. He says if there is enough evidence, the entire House of Representatives would vote. A simple majority would be required to impeach. In the House, the Democrats have a majority. So if all Democrats vote together, they would vote. Uh, they would be able to pass the, uh, the impeachment. Impeachment would not mean the president is guilty, nor would it remove him from office. Instead, it would move the process from the House to the Republican-held Senate, which conducts a trial and makes decisions on guilt. It's a higher bar, though, to convict, requiring a two-thirds majority vote. It seems unlikely that you get two-thirds, because that would be all the Democrats plus about 20 Republicans. If the Senate were to find the president guilty, they could remove him from office and even bar him from holding office in the future. But keep in mind, no president has so far actually been removed from office. Richard Nixon resigned before the House took up a full vote on impeachment. And while Bill Clinton was formally impeached, the Senate vote on conviction did not reach the necessary two-thirds majority. We haven't seen anyone go as far as voting to remove the president from office, um, but we'll see. And throughout U.S. history, the House has started impeachment proceedings against federal office holders more than 60 times, but less than one-third of those have led to full impeachments. Now, only eight of those impeached have been convicted and removed from office, all of whom were federal judges. Carlo? Thank you, Richard.